Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. You guys, I just wanna take a moment to thank you all for 13K. <laughs> Cannot believe that I'm already at this point in my YouTube journey, it's, it's surreal. Um, I'm super, super grateful and thankful for each and every one of you, you know, that watch, that like, that comment, that have subscribed to my channel. And I just want you to know that it doesn't go unnoticed, okay? So you guys, today's video is gonna be a fun one. Um, <laughs> Of course, this video is not to offend. Everyone's knows it's different, but we're going to be talking about what, in my opinion, no, this is a fact for me. This, these were my worst blind buys for 2022. Um, really? You know what? When I'm looking at the list, these are not bad fragrances. Um, you know, because sometimes you'll get a fragrance and it's just really, really, really bad. <laughs> these... I must say are not bad, but for one reason or another, they didn't work out for me, okay? So without further ado, let's get into my list of worst blind buys for 2022. Okay, so listen to me. When I say, I can't believe that I still have <laughs> So many of these bottles still here sitting in front of me. I have been so busy. Like, I don't even have time to put the fragrances on Macari. But you know what? I'm going to try to do that today because this is just, this is perfume that I'm not going to wear. And it's literally like, this could be money in the bank and a, a fragrance that I love. So I am going to be putting these up for sale. But let's get into the first one. Um... Okay, so first of all, a little bit of backstory. If you don't know who Harouche is, she is like makeup artist to the stars, Kim Kardashian, um, just a host of really uber famous people. And she does makeup like, I mean, just, just stunning. I've learned so much from watching her channel um, because she's very detailed, but this is literally the woman who put me on to fragrances. Like this, watching one of her videos, opened my whole world up to fragrance because first of all, I didn't know people had perfume collections. Like what the hell? <laughs> Second of all, I didn't know perfumes could get that expensive. I didn't know perfumes. Like I didn't know it was a thing. I thought that people had one or two and then that was that. I had no clue. So when she did her, you know, fragrance video, she has several of them, but this particular one, she was talking about like, some of her favorite fragrances and um, I wanted to try this one. I went back, watched that video just for nostalgia and I wanted to try Zahira by Bulgari. The notes are very simplistic. I think it was like um, Benzoin, Ylang and Cinnamon. Like it was only three notes listed. Very pricey, very pricey fragrance. The bottle is so opulent, but this was just a warm and spicy that didn't work out for me. I wanted to love it. It's been sitting in my in my cabinet for months now, and I need to go ahead and find it a home because it's not that it's bad. It's just something about it. I don't know if I expected it to be a little bit more sweet. Um, it's Ylang. It's cinnamon, but the cinnamon doesn't quite come across as, it's just something missing odd and I can't really put into words as to why I don't like this fragrance, but I don't like rambling. I don't like it. Um, it's something funky about it on my skin and I'm just like, okay, cinnamon, Ylang, Benzoin. Something about the benzoin is rubbing me the wrong way. I know for me personally, because there's obviously more notes in here that are listed. For me personally, if you have benzoin and you pair it with uh, something citrusy, sometimes it can start to get this pickle juice thing on my skin. Sultan by Crown does that. Um, Ombre Cello, 
uh, by Le Orchestra Parfum. I like it in certain moments, but then like every now and then I get the pickle juice. Like something about benzoin, it has to be done a very specific way if you're adding any citrus to it, but this didn't have citrus listed. So it was just a shock for me to, to find this scent off pudding. It is, it's warm, it's spicy, not overly spicy at all. I think that someone would find this to be a very, you know, beautiful, uh, rich vibe scent, but it's just one that I didn't like, I was disappointed. I was on the fence about getting it because it is discontinued. Um, and you know, sometimes it's, these are harder to find. You may pay a premium just depending on where you get it from. I did not overpay. I pay under retail, thankfully. Um, but yeah, I just, I wasn't feeling it at all. So Zahira by Bulgari is definitely one that's on the chopping block. Like I don't like it. I tried so many times and it's just not for me. Now the second one on this list, I'm actually going to talk about both these fragrances together. I'm really sitting on money. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is Bontalenti and this is by, is it a Perfumo di Firenze? And this is Glaze Ecstasy and this is by Simone Andrioli. They smell so much alike. It's crazy. Like if you're on the fence, like maybe you have one, you love it. Oh, this one might be similar. No, you do not need both of these in your collection. It will be so redundant. You wouldn't believe it. This one is pricier and it's very hard to get because I don't think anyone really carries it in the States. So you're going to pay a lot for shipping, which I did. <laughs> this one, it's half the price. Okay. This one, in my opinion, Boutalenti is better um, because I cannot smell this on me. And the scent itself, both of them, the scent itself I just, it, it what I was so like not impressed. These are giving me like a fresh cream vibe. It's fresh cream with a little bit of fruits and I can make that concoction <laughs> like in my own collection. I feel like Bonsalenti is, it definitely has better performance than Glace Ecstasy um, and half the price point, but the reading the notes this is supposed to be like raspberry red fruits coconut banana toffee caramel cookie i'm expecting this whole like robust gourmand experience and it is not that at all now a gourmand for summer spring sure but i just this one just it was very underwhelming to me and i just don't feel like i need it in my collection I tried to like it and like I said, it's giving me this fresh cream vibe. It, fresh cream by philosophy is what I'm referring to. Um, I feel like if you are thinking about the, you know what I would go with, honestly, if I can give a recommendation, <laughs> go with Minnie Mouse from the house of Siage. That is a raspberry whipped cream, caramel, vanilla, lectonic, like almost what I thought I was gonna get from this is what Minnie Mouse is giving me. Minnie, Minnie Mouse did not come to play. <laughs> Love that fragrance. And you know what? That's gonna bring us to uh, the next blind buy that I did not like. That <laughs> is going to be a Burberry Her Elixir. A lot of people love this fragrance. For me, there's just something, it was something cheap smelling about it. Now the original Burberry Her, I had and I gave it to my daughter. Not that I didn't like the scent. The scent is beautiful. The oak moss, you know, it's very MFK. Like you can smell that oak moss is very similar. Um, but the elixir was missing the magic. I feel like maybe if they had MFK do the elixir, it wouldn't have smelled like there, it smells cheap to me on me. I was actually going to return Burberry her elixir had it in the box, it was about to go back. And my daughter gonna got a whiff of it, child. She was like, um, a return, not. She's a huge fan of the OG. So I was like, girl, just go ahead. It was, it was a very, very small bottle. I got a little one, thankfully. But she took that one. Um, she loves it and it actually smells great on her. So when I say fragrance is so subjective, not only just because our noses are different, Fragrances smell different on different people. So when someone gets on, you know, YouTube and they say, this is not a good scent, this is horrible, I don't like it, it's yada, yada, yada. 
take it with a grain of salt. Always take reviews with a grain of salt because your experience, your wearing experience may be completely different. Um, your nose is different and it's just a lot of variables when it comes to a fragrance. So it smells great on her. It doesn't smell cheap on her. It smells cheap on me. <laughs> and I actually love the fragrance on her. So if you were kind of wondering about that particular fragrance, just pop in and test it on your skin, honey. Um, but it didn't work for me. So I'm going to put Burberry, her elixir in the worst blind buys again none of these are bad fragrances just not for me okay so next one up on the list is soleil passion and this is from Mikalov. now wow strawberry um just the notes oh my god it just seemed like something i would love initial opening Oh, wow, this is gonna be beautiful. Boy, when I tell you that dry down gets so fishy, like marine, not necessarily fishy, but it's very like thick marine funk. That is what that is on uh, my skin. It is so, I don't wanna say it's animalic, but it is, you, ooh, please don't blind by that fragrance because the way that develops on skin is definitely one you would need to test. Uh, quite a few people love that fragrance. For me, it was, when I say it was a hard no, after about 10, 20 minutes, I was like, okay, you know what? I revisited the next day. Maybe my nose is off. Honey, no. that The wild strawberry aspect is beautiful, but um, I forget what note is listed in there, but I heard it was quite marine-like in essence. And it just overpowered the scent. It's almost like, yeah, slightly like fishy, um, aquatic, not aquatic marine. Fish tank, wild strawberries is what Soleil Passion was doing on my skin. Um, so I recently decluttered that one, found a new home. And honey, I hope it's working out for you because it did not work out for me. All right, so moving on. Oh my God, another Emika Love. Now I love this house, but the, listen, the fra fragrances are just, you just never know, okay? This is why you got to test stuff on your skin. Mon Parfum Cristal is beloved from that house. Um, I would hear Gabby uh, from Gabby Loves Perfumes rave about that on and on um for quite a while on her channel and so she's actually one that made me blind by that fragrance i got it i could barely smell it i feel like but as it um develops on my skin that is literally my first experience of a mature rose i felt like somebody's gram like it was giving me very mature overly mature rolls and I never get that from rolls like rolls is just not a fr it's like some that that note can just come off old period don't care how you do it too many people I have never gotten that from rolls but that perfume it was very matronly um I didn't get this beautiful you know sweet gourmand caramel that I wanted and was expecting it was just a hard no after about two three days Honey, she was on Macari and I was like very disappointed with the way that particular scent wore on me. So yeah, definitely one of my worst, probably the worst. No, definitely Soleil Passion. That that was definitely the worst for 2022. But dang, wow. Mon Parfum was, <laughs> Crystal was right behind that one. I did not like that fragrance on me. Okay, so... The last one, I didn't have many, you guys. I did so many blind buys this year, but most of them were highly successful. So I don't have many. The last one on this list is Nectarine Blossom and Honey by Jo Malone. Finally pulled the trigger on buying a Jo Malone scent when I was hell bent against ever purchasing a perfume from this company because they're colognes which means they're not going to let they're not going to last. That is how they're designed. A cologne is mostly alcohol and the price point just never justified buying this. But I found one um, you know, at a good price and I love the body products to this scent. I love it. I did not like the fragrance and they smell alike, but that soap, it was soap. So I'm like, of course it's going to smell soapy. 
this also smells soapy to me and I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that from the fragrance. It's very, very, very fresh nectarine. I don't get any honey. And it maybe it's just my nose. My daughter hates honey. She does not like honey in a fragrance. And I'm, I'm telling her I don't get any honey. She was like, I definitely get honey. So again, noses, they vary because she gets honey. I don't get a lick of honey in this, but the only reason this is not the clutter other than me being lazy, because all of these should be decluttered by now, but um, makes a fabulous room spray. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Like I sprayed this and it sticks in the air. So yeah, you go back a couple hours, you spray this in the room and you come back in and you still smell it. So I'm not gonna say that this is a bad performer um, <laughs> because that's just, it's sticking in the air. So I'm, I'm gonna assume it probably sticks on your clothes and skin just as well. But it was just such a no, like after one, one or two wears, I was like, I'm gonna declutter this and I never got around to it. And now I love it as a room spray. And I feel like just decor wise, this matches my decor. So sitting this on a tray, um, you know, next to maybe like some, I might get like the little uh, re diffuser version of this as well, set them beside each other on a tray. That would look so chic, I think. But yeah, it's a fragrance, wearing it on me, spraying it on me, you know, it was a no, okay? It was a no and it's not that it's a bad fragrance, but I just, it's giving me just a little bit too fresh, soapy clean, which is really not my vibe, okay? So you guys, that's my list for today. It was very short, but like I said, I had some dang good blind buys in 2022. I'm gonna keep it just 100. Drop me a comment below. Let me know like one or two of your worst blind buys um, for 2022. It, 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 does, it does pay off to test things on your skin um, because you just never know what you're gonna get. But sometimes it's just hard to do that. Like, uh... I blind bought this because it you had to buy this from Italy directly before Lucky Scent carried it. And so when it became available, I just automatically hopped on it. So sometimes that excitement, it just you get riled up and you just blind buy. But for the most part, I I like to test my fragrances to avoid a haul like this. Okay. You guys, it has been real. Um, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure that notification bell is turned on to all so that you're always in the know about when I drop a new video and make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. Again, you all, thank you so much for 13K. I love you all and I'll catch you on the next one.